bro don't you want to know if that girl who talks to you really likes you back or not don't you want to know in that friend circle that you're in really gives a shit about you or not or would you like to know if that company you gave an interview to will answer you back or not it's because these are some questions we all want to know about but we just can't ask because even if we ask let's say for example mouths always lie body language doesn't there's a weird study i saw from university of massachusetts if i'm pronouncing it right that 60% of americans can't go 10 minutes without lying it will apply to everyone like oh it's not like fucking indians don't lie a lot or germans don't lie a lot you could say around 60% of people lie to you every 10 minutes you talk to them so mouths will always lie bro we're meant to lie but the one thing that doesn't lie about people is body language and you evolutionarily understand that you you let's i'll give you an example right like this guy very timid right and then this guy fucking your normal strong alpha male did i tell you who's timid and who's al- oh i did tell you who's timid and who's alpha male but you figured it out right with this body language you know this some timid guy if you see me just walking hey how are you doing you know i'm timid and i'm not confident but if i do this i'm like hey how are you doing you know i'm like very fucking strong how it's because it's evolutionarily designed in you to figure some things out through people's body language but it's in the subtleties in the little details people don't like show their body language that obviously but it's in the little details about people that you would realize what their true intentions are what they truly think it's because your mind thinks of something and your body follows if i don't agree with you my body language will be different than the type i agree with you if i'm not interested in you my body language will be different from the person who's interested in you and body language can't be faked by the way let's say you think okay i need to be confident in front of this interviewer or in front of this girl so un- as long as you're conscious about it you'll do a good job or you might do some sort of a good job okay like this girl is talking to you today he's like oh hey yeah nice nice to meet you too yeah 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 my my name is afan So I'm conscious about my body language but what if we're getting like half an hour into the conversation and I forget to keep my straight body language Oh yeah about my childhood hmm Yeah actually my mother used to uh, really love me so much when I was a kid and there were so many things that happened to See now that she that girl asked me for my childhood I'm no longer conscious of my body language and it shows So body language never lies because people can lie only with their mouth. Body language can never lie. So you'll be able to figure out literally from fucking 0 to 10 about every single person you meet in your life just because you're watching this video to the full length and you are by the way. Okay. I'm going to be put this video in three parts, right? Um first part I'm going to put hands. Hands, your fucking fingers and all that. and i'm also going to show you real life examples of some interviews we all might have seen or some celebrities we all know and their certain body languages and what it tells about them and then you're going to understand all these concepts very well because i'm showing you examples and i'll also be testing you i'll start asking you questions like hey this is this picture tell me the body language or tell me the scenario right now does this girl actually like him does the guy actually like the girl and you'll be able to answer better and better the more you watch the video like the longer you watch the video so by the end of the video i will again give you some examples and i'll again ask you some questions and you'll be able to answer most of them or at least all of them you won't be super good at it unless you really go in depth like artistically in depth like i did but you'll be really good at figuring out people's body languages overall like you will you will look at a friend circle and you'll realize oh people don't give a shit about this guy or this guy is probably new in the friend circle 
or you're talking to a guy and a girl you'd realize oh the girl is actually the dominant one in this relationship and she actually doesn't give a shit about the guy she is probably bored of him or you'll be going to this interview and realize oh this guy has fucking rejected me long back i'm simply wasting my time over here all these things and also in the end of the video i'll give you a special bonus i'll teach you how to know if someone's lying to you and i'll also show you how to know if a girl likes you or not that's like a fucking question people ask each other all the time and i'm also not going to fucking fake shit like most other youtubers do on this platform because i wanted to learn about body language right and i typed on youtube body language tips or learn body language bro is this people who fucking studied from chat gpt some dumbasses who wrote on like chat gpt oh how do i have a good body language upload and then chat gpt will generate an answer and they just put that and then when i type body language on youtube these are most of the videos i got bro it's like some teaching men's flash you know nine body language signs he subtly likes you and then his eyes are like going on the girl or something like that it didn't fucking help because body language is something you cannot fake it's what your mind is if you believe that you're some fucking strong confident alpha male or some shit your body language will tell it you can't try to be the submissive guy if that's what your mind thinks of you like i you notice if you wear good clothes you automatically have a much better posture you'll walk like you fucking own the world because your mind thinks you're the shit right now so your body language will put red but let's say you wear a very shit outfit there might be days you would have wore a very shit outfit you wouldn't have done your hair just just like me right now and you won't feel as confident you won't have the body language of a confident person because your mind fucking knows who you are that's why i'm trying to tell you like 100 times all over again that you cannot fake body language and neither can people they can try faking their body language to you when they're lying or when they don't want to tell you something but their body language will make it very obvious because of what i'm going to teach you i think i've sold you enough on this topic that if you don't watch this video to a complete length i think you're a fucking idiot bro <laughs> trust me i really think you are for some reason like all this detail that i'm giving you for free that i knew autistically was searching about you know why i was like searching about it so autistically uh because i used to be very bad at figuring people out like this we had this gym right and then this uh here was like the calisthenics section and here was the pull up section so in this pull up section like this very cute girl came okay like very fucking cute she was she she i don't know where was she from but she was certainly from asia anyways so she looked really cute okay and i was just doing my pull ups i was supposed to do three sets i was i liked her so much like i thought she was so cute and i wanted to approach her so badly i did like five sets in set cuz i didn't like grow the balls until three sets to actually go talk to her so after five sets of pull ups uh i bent and i you know spoke to her in like the most shy way possible i'll show you so this was me uh uh hey i just thought you were really cute and i do you want to work out together sometime guess what she said you might think she would have told me no fuck off right because i'm some timid guy no she's like yeah sure actually can i have your number so that we could like organize the workout bro i was on fucking cloud 9 Dude, she was so fucking hot. Like a chick like this wouldn't even fucking look in my direction. Like there was Brad Pitt standing behind me, and she still wouldn't look at me because I am there. This and this chick actually gave me her fucking. Actually, took my number, bro. I was on cloud nine, so I went home. You know, I was. Just, like a little fucking child waiting for her to text me and guess what happened she didn't text me dude i thought oh okay she likes to play it cool she's so mysterious huh next year also she didn't text me 
and then the fucking weekend came and she still didn't text me that was the time we were supposed to work out together right and then she still didn't text me and after i learned a little about body language i realized what she was trying to say she was trying to basically say hey i don't want to like you but i don't want to fucking hurt your feelings and the reason she didn't give me her number was because she didn't want to breach her privacy by giving me her number first and she took my number because she didn't want to make me feel bad feel ignored that's why she took my number instead of giving hers and that's why she never texted afterwards cuz she just didn't want to make me feel bad she rejected me quite a while ago you see if i knew body language like i know now bro i would have figured that out in seconds i would have just gone to her said hi and realized oh she's not interested in me so i would just ask her like a oh, hey do you know where the uh, bench press section is or some search for it and she'll tell you oh there so i wouldn't have just gone the fucking full out blow out in rejection i think i've convinced you enough again to watch the whole fucking video so i'm not i'm going to shut the fuck up for now and stick to the point right now let's talk about arms the only thing i want to really 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 want, uh tell you and the one thing that you should take from this entire arm section is that the more close someone's arms are the less likely they are um, fond of your opinions because it's a way to put a barrier between you and themselves and it's also a way of hugging themselves or comforting themselves because they feel more safer in their own area so they try to make their own area smaller because they don't like what's going around if you understand what i mean now i'm going to go into more specifics but i really want you to remember this one thing the more close someone's hands is the more close they are as a person the more open someone's hands is the more open they are you can notice that in speeches the next time you're talking maybe you're talking about general things like oh i think uh, milk should come first and then cereal no oh, like or whatever your opinions are but once you start saying something that people don't fucking agree with like i know what something people don't agree with you start saying oh just what the fuck whatever you say something people don't agree with and then people start closing their hands more so for example you're um you're talking to me right and you're like oh fun um uh, you know yesterday i had a bowl and i put cereals first and then i put milk later and then now my hands are open because i completely agree with you you see and then suddenly you start telling me oh but i also think uh, kim kardashian never put any botox whatsoever i'm like hmm Yeah, fair point, you know. Yeah, I'm fucking lying to you because I completely don't agree with your opinion. Only after you said the certain fact, I started closing myself a little more. That means I either don't like you or I don't like what you said. It could be either of them. Right. So now that we're into the most basic thing, let me um, give you a little more details than that. Why cross arms are detrimental. cross arms are detrimental because as long as their hands are crossed they certainly not going to agree with you let's say you have to say something to someone and you have to put things to perspective but they're not ready to open themselves up at all let's say you're selling something to someone you're a coffee guy and you're selling someone coffee beans like hey sir would you like these coffee beans blah 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 and he's like hmm 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 not giving a shit about your opinion and he never wants to open his hands that's a sign that he never wants to open himself up so what you can do against it is just give them something to hold so if you give him a cup of coffee to hold let's say for example he's like this right and you're like oh so he has a cup of coffee so he opens his hands and takes the coffee so now that he opens his hands he's also going to subconsciously open his mind towards what you're saying so that's just a little tip before i continue more with the hand stuff Now some people are going to argue with me right now saying no fun is I'm just comfortable like this this is this is how I normally sit it's not that I'm just close to everyone that's not how people normally sit you're not like evolutionary wired to sit like that that's not a very comfortable position 
do you sit like that when you're at home right when you're at your laptop or something like that no you don't unless you're hearing someone's opinions you don't like you don't sit like that generally it's so get off with the part that oh they might just be comfortable like that no the chances that they close they are, they are closing you or they are avoiding themselves from you or whatever you're saying they're building a block or they are reducing their space is much higher than the fact that um Oh yeah, no, they just being comfortable with me and that's how their comfort is. So don't think of that, right? And also another tip for you, if you're talking to a woman, the more interested she is, the more she's going to open her hands. So if you go talk to her and maybe just say, you know, you start like flirting a bit out of nowhere and you want to see if you've not crossed a boundary, to see if her hands are closing more or not. You figure it out. Nice. Now let's talk about crossed arms on chest. This this is the typical arm fold you want to see and this is the only arm fold I talked about. This is a ba- this is a way of saying that they want to put a barrier between themselves and you because everything you say is completely out of the defensive side. Right? now there's another one this is a more dangerous one by the way uh, it's it's something like this like this where their hands are kind of clenched right so if they're sitting like this and their hands are somewhat clenched that means they are in a position where they're very fucking angry with you but they're trying to hide it people clench their hands only when they're really really angry with you and their body is telling them to you know put up a fight or do something very pathetic towards you but they just haven't reached that point yet where they agree with their body or they think that's the right thing to do or they have the balls to actually do it but that's called a reinforced arm crossing especially if it's combined with a tight lip or a clenched teeth like this like this like you see you see this both both fists are clenched like this and like yeah that means i want to really beat the shit out of you okay nice um now comes the arm gripping this like this So whenever someone holds themselves to a certain degree it's a way of hugging themselves. I'll get into a little more detail as I'm talking about it but this if someone just stands like this right like just stands like this and you know he's chilling with his day there's a very good chance that he's feeling anxious or very uncomfortable so he's hugging himself. that is some people some people's way of hugging themselves a guy's way of hugging himself weirdly enough is like this you might have seen a lot of guys who like just stand like this and uh, they are like you know protecting their crotch uh that's because they're trying to protect their like frontal part from the crowd or from a position where they kind of anxious from that happens when they don't know people or they're not the most dominant person in the room anymore you'll see a lot of guys when they're taking their trophies next time you're in a graduation you're in a place where a guy is taking a trophy you'll notice most of them come in like this this ouch fuck this like clenched position covering their fucking phallus or manhood or whatever you want to call it because that's a way to protect themselves whenever they're feeling anxious that's a way to that people hug themselves and also protect their main part and a girl will do this that's also a way she's hugging herself a girl's this the same way as a guy's this right now that's arm gripping Another type of handshake that you'll see very commonly amongst most people this is actually what I've seen from most people most people have either seen this one where they are trying to put a barrier between you and them or I've seen the one where their thumbs are up so that goes around like this they're like hmm 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 that that is a sign that they don't agree with you necessarily but 
they want to act calm and cool so if you're telling me something and i'm not and i consider myself to be a little more dominant but you're in a position of power let's say you are my boss right now okay and you're like uh, oh yeah fun had the worst company clientele or something like that and i really don't agree with you man because i probably had like a very good presentation or some shit like that but i want to act like i'm okay about it and i'm not a little bitch who can't take um, negative criticism so i'm going to do like this and hmm yeah that means i'm close but i'm still trying to portray coolness i'll talk about the importance of pointing your thumbs out and how a lot of people try will try to show dominance by pointing their thumbs out later as we talk about fingers but just understand this for now right um i talked about hugging yourself and now okay now let's talk about how people reveal insecurities with using their arms and some of their fingers so a lot of men will re- reveal their anxiousness or insecurity by holding themselves in certain ways so the most obvious way you might have seen of like hugging yourself is this thing right that's the very 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 obvious way but the more less obvious ways if you, next time you see in a group setting at least one out of the 10 people you're around are doing it that is the way where <clears throat> people will adjust their watch or people are using their cufflinks you know you might have seen this guy in this conversation he's just like this yeah hmm yeah guys i, I understand oh the blah 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 something like that he's just talking and he's adjusting his cufflinks so he's just adjusting his watch it's the traditional way of checking your weather app basically <laughs> okay adjusting your cuff adjusting your watch quite a lot adjusting your tie quite a lot these are all ways of showing that you're somewhat anxious or you're somewhat insecure in that position it's the it's the traditional way of checking your weather app is a less obvious way of checking your weather app you're checking the weather app in front of someone bro you're fucking gone it's like everybody knows about it right like everybody knows you're anxious okay um and then there's another way if if you don't un- still understand what position someone is when you're talking to them just give them a cup of coffee that's a very good example so yeah, let's say this is a table right like here is a table and i keep my hands over here so if i'm open with your ideas my coffee cup should be somewhere here right this is the table and it's like resting on the table just imagine so if i'm open with what you're saying the coffee cup should be somewhere here okay but if i don't give a shit what you're saying and i do fucking hate you then the coffee cup will be something like this oh yeah 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 blah 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 i'm telling you something or i'm hearing you out or whatever it is or it might be like this this is somewhat like special this position i'll show you i'll talk about it later when i talk about fingers more but just know this is very close they don't re- agree with you they think you're probably a piece of shit this means very open they completely agree with you they love you right oh, good coffee by the way So now that we covered that before I talk about finger let's talk about palms okay and palms in general i mean handshakes and trustworthiness so the more you show your palms to someone the more people think they trust they can trust you because showing your palms is a way of showing that you have nothing to hide it's a evolutionary body language if someone says oh trust me dude i didn't do anything they show their palms if you are someone hey did you steal it i uh, know i didn't steal it that means this showing your palms is a way of telling people you have nothing to hide so if you are in a situation and you want people to trust you more it's just a trick show your palms more in talk next time you're going to an interview 
say whatever you want to say but show your palms and talk so that people feel like they're in a position where they can trust you more but if they watch this video all the way till the end i'm also going to teach you how to figure out if someone's lying so you're fucked bro if they also watch this video till the end then then you're fucked but in general you could just open your hands more and talk to people so that you're in a better position of being trusted okay that's that's what i'll tell you about palms right now all right now let's talk about handshakes so for handshakes whoever's hands is in this position more in this position like right? right? more facing to the fucking wall or whatever like their um the top of their hand is facing to the wall the, the upper wall or whatever it is the more dominant they are and the more it's on the opposite end like this basically the more submissive they are that's why uh, even in muslims praying comes like this right you might have seen a muslim praying like this it's because it's a sign of submission to god hope you figure it out and that's why also in a lot of religions it's something like this or it's like this or something like that but it shows a sign of submission to god and i don't think any religion is like this like oh i'm going to dominate you bro no not really it's always a sign of submission well on that note whenever you shake hands with someone right now this is somewhat like okay so they both come like this that's somewhat of an even handshake okay i'm going to give all of i'm going to give examples for everything like arms and fingers together later in scenarios i'm going to show you some interviews some videos you all would have commonly seen some very famous videos and i'm going to ask you what their body language is what do you think the position is right now and i'm going to also show you pictures where i'm going to ask you to predict scenarios so that you understand really well what hand body language hand and finger body language says because they're somewhat tied together anyways continuing with handshakes uh let's say the handshake is something like this okay ah uh, fuck i don't know how can i explain it with my own hands i would need some like other hand but let's say you're shaking hands with someone like this that means you both are in an equal position okay let's say you're shaking hands someone with someone doing this that means you both are in an equal position but let's say um you're shaking your hands doing this okay that means you're showing your palm more towards the sky that somewhat shows like a submissive position it shows that you can you're allowing the other person to dominate you if you're showing it like this and if you're showing it like this right if someone asks you for a handshake and they're like oh come handshake that means they're trying to be in a more dominant position right this part of their hand is facing the sky that means it's dominant if it's this part it's submissive remember that so if they're asking a handshake and they're doing this like all right bro see you out or something that means they think they're they're more off in a dominant position than they than you think they are in okay so remember again with handshakes this is dominant this is submissive and this is the best thing and the best way to establish neutrality in a handshake is to match this thing like you know have the equal thing so the first person comes in this way the second person comes in this way and then you both shake hands all right and also you need to match their grip so they can't be holding you too tightly you can't be holding them too tightly right like a permissible equal amount of grip that both of you are sharing that's a very firm nice handshake that represents equality but if you want to represent dominance the other person you do this and if an other person is trying to establish dominance you ev envy their space that's what you, that's what you do to like bring back your dominance I don't know why am I going in the side rant, but this will also help you. Let's say a person, right? He comes. All right, bro. See you out. And now you know from this video that this person is trying to, you know, put himself in a more dominant position. So what are you gonna do? Invade their space, bro. So. I'm going to fucking get up for this. That's how nice of a person I am. <laughs> so someone comes like this like, "All right, man. 
see you out. What you do is, now you are in a more submissive position because if his hands are over here, right, on top, like he's like, all right, go see you out, your hands only can come from below, right? You can't just, so that you both are in the dom, so that you are in the dom position instead now. You can't just do that, right? So instead of just doing this, take a step forward, like one foot forward and then do this. So you're having a submissive handshake, but you're also invading their personal space. Let me tell this shit to you again. Someone comes, all right, girl, see you out. And now his hand, this part is facing towards the fucking top of the wall. So that's a more dominant handshake. And you, my guy watching this video, you're in a position where you have to accept a submissive handshake. You invade their space, okay? So you do this and you point one foot forward, okay? Again, you do this and you point one foot forward so that you're invading their personal space. And now, even though you've had the most submissive handshake, he will still feel somewhat threatened by you. That's a side rant I had to fucking get up for to helping you. I swear if you don't like this video or fucking comment or subscribe, I'm going to come home and beat the shit out of you. All right. Now let's start talking about fingers. Hands and fingers are the most important. Everything I said, like the showing palms thing, the handshake thing, it's somewhat of a side rant just so that you're more knowledgeable than you were before this video. All right. All right, at this point of this video, you might be thinking, oh, wow, there's so much information. How am I gonna learn? Dude, just keep fucking watching this video, all right? Keep watching this video. I'm gonna summarize every single thing I said for you. I'm also going to show you examples so that it stays in your head. If you finish this fucking whole fuck video, you're gonna remember everything I said because I'm gonna make you test several times for it. So don't worry about keeping the information in your head. Just fucking listen for now, all right? Now that we got, got that off, let's talk about fingers. Now, I'll tell you some of the obvious ones. That means I'm expecting something. If someone says, oh yeah, I'm just very excited for the deal, let's get it together. Yeah, that means they're, ex they're, they're expecting something or they're very happy or excited for what's coming. Um, if someone says, oh yeah, let's get the match started, that means they're excited for the match, right? But that's obvious, I don't need to tell you that. Let's get another obvious out just so that we're all in the same page. This means money. So the problem is I recommend people not to use this because that's all I've read. And I've also seen in real life that whenever someone does this, it tells people that they have a negative attitude towards money because people don't like people who are just focused on making money or who are just looking at the money side of things. You go to fucking Wall Street and do this, that's fine because everyone there cares about money. But if you go to it in a normal environment, like, oh yeah, let's go on this date or something like that, that means you're probably only caring about the fact that you don't have to pay for it or something like that. You know, the person is going to make up shit. If there's enough shit or not already made about you, they're going to make up shit and assume that you're kind of a shitty person or that you're somewhat of a money oriented person. It might work in some places, bro, but trust me, it doesn't work in most of them. Okay. Now I think all of us are on the same page, right? Like not only just you and me, but someone else who might be watching this video, everyone's on the same page. Okay. Now let's take another example. That's the hands clench together in the sitting position. So this. Now I'll tell you what this, this means. This, if she's happy, if, if it's a girl and it's, she's happy, that generally means she wants you to admire her or she's displaying herself to be admired. That actually does happen. Like if you're with a girl and she's sitting like this towards you, like she's not bored or something. She's just genuinely sitting like this towards you. Or she's sitting like this to this towards you. And that means she's putting some, her face on somewhat of a platter for you to admire her. 
there was this girl who used to somewhat like me and this was the old gym but every time i used to sit there every time i used to work out she would simply just sit like this and look at me dude i didn't i didn't fucking know she liked me for quite a while man it took me like like two months or some shit to realize that she liked me it took me that f- that's why i'm telling you bro that why do you think i know all this shit because i needed this information much more than you did all right much more than you do probably <laughs> i'm very bad at figuring people until i knew this all right so not that not the face on the platter thing so that you know a girl a girl keeps her face for you to admire it no it's just hands clenched together and it's like this hmm okay yeah i'll think about it that means they're not going to fucking think about it bro it shows it has a they have a restrained anxious or negative attitude so whenever you're telling someone and it's like this just try figuring out what the reason is and the more they start opening up to you about what the reason is the less their hands will come together let the less their fingers will come together remember i told you at the starting of this uh, like arm section that the more close someone's hands is the less open they are so this is like straight up fuck off this means they have like a negative feeling about it okay and now there's another way of it as well there's another way of hands clench you don't just see people sitting like this all the time if you have a coffee uh, if you're giving someone coffee they might sit like this or they just on the table and they're just normally sitting like this so it shows that they have a frustration all they have like some sort of an anxious feeling that they don't want to talk about right now they're holding back something it's just to summarize this position this like this like when they're sitting over here but when they're over here they're somewhat anxious is because they're also like holding themselves the closer someone brings the body to themselves the more likely they are feeling anxious or nervous because ho- keeping yourself like this is a way of holding yourself or hugging yourself and this is a more cooler way of doing it where they are somewhat open to you but they're also somewhat anxious so you see all this part of their body is open right now except for the hands right that shows the level of openness they have that means just probably like this doubt away or this question away from them to hope open their hands completely nice now let's see uh your favorite the fucking steeple dude i've seen that so many times right i've seen like uh this fucking instagram reel which talks about like oh yeah andrew tate also does this position when he's talking oh jeff bezos also does this position when he's talking this is the position of the people outside the matrix i actually fucking saw that shit on a reel dude let me tell you what is it about so when someone does this or this right like shit like that right like this or something where only their fingers are touching it shows a very um it's it's a body language to show a very confident attitude so if i'm arguing and i do this that means i'm trying to portray the people that i know what i'm doing i'm going to show you examples of magnus carlson doing this later when i'm in the example section which i think is somewhat more important than the shit i'm teaching because you're only going to remember 1% of it unless i show you the examples anyways so i'll show you examples of magnus carlson doing this to fool his players where he does this and he shows that he's very confident in what he's doing so that the person next to him will you know fuck up their move because he thinks oh shit Mag- magnus carlson has something up his sleeve let me figure out what uh, is up his sleeve and so he'll fuck up a move and then magnus carlson now has the chance i'll sh- i'll show you i'll show you so many chess players who do the steeple to fool the other person that they know what they're doing so it's a very good way to fool people and it's also a good way to just show you know what you're saying but you know somewhat like like a like a pinch of cockyish way right the confident superior types generally use this ah uh, what do i have left let's see what all have i covered hmm 
Oh, yeah. I forgot to cover the hand and back thing. So this is something like this. How many times am I fucking getting up to explain you something, you know? This is how much hard work I'm doing. I swear if you don't like this video, I'll come to your house and I'll just hit you. Okay. So this, this shows superiority or confidence, right? This thing. It shows you've got nothing to lose. You've got nothing to hide. Okay. Now let's go with another gesture that looks like hands in the back, but it's not really. This. You see the difference? This shows superiority or confidence and this is something completely different. So that shows a level of self-control and not the type you want because that's showing a person that he's frustrated or angry and he's holding himself back. So if someone does this, yeah, that means they're kind of holding themselves back from you. But if someone does this, Bro, I can't even fucking stretch my hands to there properly. Um, that means they're really holding something back from you. Like really, really. To a point where if they do this and their hands are also closed, that means they want to fucking beat the shit out of you. So, again, let me tell all these points again. That is someone who is, you know, holding back a feeling or holding back an emotion and he's He's kind of open, right? Because his hands are quite open, but he's somewhat negative about it. This means he has like a very negative attitude towards whatever you're saying. Okay. Then this means superiority. This means confidence. You might have seen like a lot of presidents and a lot of politicians standing like this. That's to show superiority. That's to show confidence. This means a very bad frustration towards something that you're saying or towards something who you are and then this 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 is like ultimate like the higher the hand goes the more frustration that they're carrying like this along with a fist clench means i'm gonna beat the shit out of you bro get your act together right now let's talk about the thumbs up position thumbs up generally shows like dominance so that that is generally used to show like a cool display like oh i'm cool with stuff so maybe someone has a coat instead of like putting it like this he's putting it like this so that's a sign of showing superiority or showing dominance or at minimum showing that they are somewhat calm and collected showing all right not being if they are calm and collected it's not necessary that they would do this, but if they want to show their calm and collected, it's very, very necessary. They're going to do this, you know, put their coats in like this or keep their uh, fucking, how many times am I getting up? You know, it's like six o'clock in the morning. So, or they're going to keep their hands in their pocket like this. There's also a sign of seduction, by the way, keeping your hands in your pocket like this, but I'll get over that later. So, or sometimes like, you know, uh, some people write like they keep their pockets over here and they keep it like this and then some people will keep it like this Some guy if he wants to put a coat on he puts it like this instead of just normal people like this I show you photos of uh, Prince Charles. I, I think his name is Prince Charles But him using this thumbs outside the pocket display to show confidence I'll show you that all, all that later in the example section, which I think is more important than every sh all the shit you're learning right now, because I bet you forgot like 90% of what I taught you by now. That's why the example section is very, very, very important. Don't watch all this part if you're not going to watch the example section where I literally drill down all these concepts on you so that you fucking remember them. Because if you don't remember what I'm saying, everything I'll say right now is just fucking use this you might as well watch mr beast he's way more entertaining than me if you're simply just watching it for entertainment right and again let's come to an, the other point remember this this was to show that oh i'm um, i think i'm somewhat cool but i still don't agree with you that i'm somewhat negative 
or I have something to hold back, but I'm still trying to keep myself calm and composed, or at least I want to show myself as someone who is calm and composed. So, all right. So let me summarize all of this before I show you the examples I'm going to show you right now. For hands, the more inside your hands are, the more in the more close someone's hands is, the more they are not agreeing with you. All right. We've covered that up. Now, fingers. The more outside, the more outside their thumb is, the more calm and collected they want to be seen as. Okay, that's very important. Then, the more someone's fists are clenched, or the more, um, yeah, the more someone's fists are clenched. That means the more anxious, uh, that means the more they are fucking holding something back or they want to like beat the shit out of you. So they're holding themselves back in a way. All right. So we covered the hands thing. The more close, the better, the more uh, they're close to you. Then we have covered thumbs that the more their thumbs are protruding outside, the more calm and collected they want to be seen or the more calm and collected they are. Then we've covered the hands, the more clenched their hands is, especially if it's combined with a tight lip, like. That means it won't beat the shit out of you. And yeah, that's it. That's all you need to know. Like that's all you can summarize about it. Now I'm going to show you a lot of real life examples so that you can guess the scenarios and understand what the other person is feeling without ever hearing him. Okay, now I'm gonna show you everything I said in terms of examples. So let's start off with the first example of this interview of GQ with John Peterson with, I don't know who this random person is, but if you see the whole video, you will realize they've had a lot of disagreements. This is actually a very famous video. So you could clearly see that John Peterson's hands are closed over here and the woman as well, her hands were open at the starting of the video, but they started getting closed later and later. I'll put the description of this in, I'll put the link in the description if you want to go see the entire video, but that's what you notice. The woman's hands were more open and open, but as soon as the conversation started going further and further towards the end of the video, her hands started closing more and more. And John Bison's hands were closed from the starting itself, right? And that's with someone he doesn't know much about. Now, let's go to another example where he's with Theophon, a very famous podcaster slash comedian who is agreeing with a lot or at least most of the things. Peterson was saying. Not only that, he was also asking him about a lot of things Peterson himself agrees about. That's why you could see they were having a much open and friendly conversation where they were hearing each other out because this wasn't, this podcast wasn't a debate. Again, I'll put the link of this in the description below so that you could go check it out yourself. But they were having a very friendly conversation. That's why you'll see both of their hands are pretty open. Now, this is another clip where they were having an argument, they were having a debate. Notice how the woman's hands are somewhat open, but his hands are completely closed. Yeah, you've guessed it right. The entire argument goes around like that, where John Peterson is somewhat close with what he says and his opinions, and the woman is somewhat trying to agree with him and somewhat also disagreeing with him. She's kind of on a rough surface, but these are three examples that I helped you with. Now I'm going to show you examples and you will have to predict the scenarios from it. And this comes from a video from Jubilee, I think it's called. And it's about like Muslims. I forgot what the topics are exactly, but I'm going to ask you to predict certain scenarios and you have to tell me what they are, right? So this here is the first scenario. There's one person in disagree. There's one person in somewhat disagree. The two people in agree. The two people in somewhat agree. Now, what do you think? I want you to pause this video and think for yourself. Like what position do you think everyone is in?
Right. Let's start with the person who disagrees quite a lot. Okay. In the disagree position. He seems to be someone, his hands are kind of back. So he seems to be someone who's in a strong or in a confident position. At least he thinks he is in. The, the person who's in somewhat disagree, her hands are tied together and it's not in a video format, it's in a photo format, but she's like kind of rubbing her hands. So whenever someone's rubbing her, their hands or they're using their watch quite a lot or they're using their cufflinks quite a lot for men or if a woman is like just holding her purse and like, you know, like touching her purse, something like this, that's a sign of they're nervous or they're anxious and they're calming themselves because that's when we were small, that's what our mothers used to do for calming us. They would just, you know, like move their hand around my, our heads. That's a body language evolutionary sign of calming someone. So that's why when someone's just like this, doing this, or they're just like this, they're trying to soothe themselves or calm themselves to a certain degree. Now, let's come to the two people who are somewhat disagreeing. Notice one guy's hands is completely in his pockets. He's probably shy or kind of timid because he's not showing his hands. He's not exposing himself. Showing your hands is showing a sign of confidence, showing a sign of truthfulness, or showing a sign of you know what you're doing. But his hands are completely in his pockets. Now, let's come to the woman who's behind that guy. So she is in the hands clenched position, but from down. So she's in this position. You see, for the hands clenched position, it is very, it is a very important position because People use it quite often. You'll see it in many more examples that I'm going to show you right now. Just remember that the more uh, their hands are clenched towards their body and towards the center, the less likely they are going to agree with you. And the more they are like this, the more they are somewhat open with your uh, opinions while they are trying to protect themselves. So that same thing you see with the woman who somewhat agrees. She's somewhat open to what people are saying, but she is, she also wants to protect herself and protect her stand. Now let's come with the two people who agree. So from the two people who agree, one of them has completely closed their hands. The, first, the woman behind has completely closed her hand and she's below. That means she's somewhat there to change her opinions or she's somewhat there to listen to people, but it's going to take a hard while because she has some frustration or some nervousness towards what she's hearing. That's why her hands the fists are clenched. Remember, the more clenched someone's fists are, the more likely they are feeling a weird frustration. Even that same thing applies here. If it's clenched over here like this, that means they're feeling a frustration. Okay. So that's one scenario. Now let's go on to another photo. I want you to again, pause this video, imagine this scenario and tell me exactly what's going on without watching the fucking video itself. Cause you, if you learn everything I said right now properly, you will be able to assume everything. You will know exactly what's happening in this video without actually even watching the video, like what position everyone is in. And once you go watch the video, you'll realize you were fucking right. Okay. Let's see. Again, and the strongly disagree, his, his, both his hands are in his pocket. That means, again, he's shy, he's timid, and he probably doesn't want to speak quite a lot. And you will notice when you watch the video, he really doesn't speak quite a lot. He just keeps his hands in his pocket and he stays there. When someone pushes him to an opinion, he says the least amount of words he can. Now let's come to the guy behind him. He could be either showing superiority or he's hiding a frustration. It could be either one of them. If someone's keeping their hands in their back, it could be just this. That means showing superiority. Because the more someone shows their, for a man, the more someone shows his crotch area, the more superior or confident he feels. That's a very manly thing. That's why when someone is going on a stage and receiving a trophy, he keeps his hands like this. It's so that he hides his main part or his important part when he feels nervous or anxious. So when you're around a group of people and suddenly when you come, there's a guy over here doing like this, he's probably kind of intimidated by you. So anyways, this guy, the third guy in the somewhat disagree, his hands are like this or like this. If it's this, it's frustration. If it's this, it's showing superiority. That means portraying your crotch. 
That's also a sign if a guy likes you, by the way. Nice. Um, now, let's come to the somewhat agree. In somewhat agree, there's only one woman and again, she's in the same position where she wants to be open, but there's a part of her that's, that's you know, that's holding back. So that's why she has her hands like this. Okay. Uh, same scenario again. Now, this is a very controversial question that comes in the video. Does Islam promote violence? And in this, you will see more closed positions. Now, let's start off with the first woman in the hijab. She is holding herself. You see, whenever someone's holding themselves like this, or a guy is holding himself like this, protecting himself, and a woman is doing this, that is, again, a sign of that they feel intimidated or they feel very uneasy. So they try to calm, so they try to hold themselves, or they try to calm themselves down. Or they're in a position where they feel nicer when, you know, they're just by themselves. Now, let's go to the second woman. Uh, the second woman, again, she's in this position, which is again, hands clenched, but towards down. If hands clenched was like this, that means she's uh, super not okay with what you're saying. And she has something that she's holding really, really back. But this position means that she's somewhat open, but he's also, she's also kind of anxious and she's holding something back. And now let's come to the third guy who's completely crossed his hands like this. What do you think of him? That probably means he really does not agree with what you're saying. That's why he wants to put a barrier between himself and you through his hands. Okay. Yeah. So that's what you'll understand from this scenario. Now let's go to some pictures that I took from my iPad. Now, did you see this picture? This one. So generally when a girl does this or this, you know, she's like kind of trying to show her face. It's a sign she likes you because she's trying to show her self to be admired by you now this is a very famous position this thing it's this thing um this this is magnus carlson does this quite a lot and then these presidents are also doing it over here it's to show the public a sign of confidence they probably either that confident about what they're saying or they want to show that they are that confident about what they're saying now Let's come to this position, this. Remember the one I told you? This is again hands clenched, but this is in the upper position. This is in the middle position. The more center they are, like more towards themselves they are, the less likely they are to be so open to you or to agree to you. This is the best position where they are really open to you, but there's still a small part of them that's, you know, somewhat holding back. This shows nervousness or anxiety towards a particular scenario, right? Okay, so now I'm going to show you even more examples of firstly, Idi Amin. Yeah, the fucking tyrant. He uses body language very well, by the way. Like, look at this picture. This is the only picture where he actually opens his hand. Whenever he's presenting something, he used to open his hands. And whenever he sat down and spoke to the people or talked about authorities, he did this. That's to show that he's, you know, uh, uh, somewhat of a strong figure who demands respect. You might have seen that even in the Andrew Tate Piers Morgan interview. If you watch it again, you will notice whenever Andrew Tate talks to Piers Morgan, he tells him like this. Whenever Andrew Tate is talking and he wants Piers Morgan to shut up for a while, he says this. So that's a sign of authority. I don't recommend you doing that to people around. People actually get very pissed. I've, I've tried it once or twice in conversations and people get really pissed when you do the finger thing. It's because it commands authority. It says, I know more than you, shut up. 
So Idi Amin uses that very properly. He uses this hat. Uh, even Saddam Hussein. We're talking about Saddam Hussein now. I'll come on Idi Amin later. But Saddam Hussein, he shows a open hand whenever he's talking to the public, whenever he's talking to public about promises, about the world, about the nation. As you can see in this picture, when he's in a mass mass audience, he shows an open hand. That's a sign of trust. Because remember, open hand means I have nothing to. I'm nothing against you. Open hand means I have nothing to hide. So that's what Idi Amin is showing. Now let me show you one your favorite tyrant, Adolf Hitler. So you see that this thing is doing. I can't do the full thing because I'm in Germany. I'll go to fucking jail. But you see how his hand, the top side of his hand is up. So he like points it out like this. That is a sign of domination. Remember, I told you in handshakes. Whichever, if this side is facing the wall, that's domination. If this side is facing, that's submissiveness. That's why in Muslims you pray like this. You know, you ask a dua like this because that's you submitting yourself to God. So yeah, Hitler also uses this very well. He just shows a uh, true domination by doing this. Imagine instead of that, like Hitler just fucking. I'm getting out. Instead of that, Hitler just does this shit. You think anybody is gonna fucking believe him? No. Nope. So <clears throat> now let's see another one. Perfect example. This is Idi Amin. So for those of you who don't know, which is apparently a lot of people, he was a tyrant in Africa. Like he's kind of the Hitler, but for black people. About him. This is a picture where he's opening his hands when he's talking to the mass audience, when he's talking to general public. What he does is he opens his hands, showing I have nothing to lose, I have nothing to hide from you. You can trust me. I'm such a great leader. Yes, yeah, so this is even more points to fucking drive my shit home. So I showed you Idi Amin doing this to show he has nothing to hide. And now I'm going to show you an other picture of Idi Amin where he's pointing at someone. You see, the thing with pointing at people is that it shows authority and it demands respect in a negative manner. It's not a hey, um, respect me if you appreciate me. It's a hey, fuck you, respect me. That's what this sign shows, and you could see Idi Amin doing that when he's talking to news reporters, when he's talking to journalists, to show or to force his dominance on them. But when he's talking to general audience, you'll see his hands out like this. Why the fuck do you also think like if you're if you're Indian and you're watching this, why the fuck do you think Modi does like this shit every time? Do you think he just simply does that? Do you think he's fucking stupid? No, it's because. He wants to show people that he has nothing to hide. I have no like political views, by the way. I don't give a fuck. I'm just trying to show you body language. And uh, now I'll show you one picture in which you have to ah uh, tell me who looks more dominant right now. Is it Idi Amin or it's the guy on the right? Most of you would have probably guessed it's Idi Amin, right? Now I want you to tell me who looks more dominant. This is another picture. Idi Amin on the right or the guy on the left? The guy on the left, right? Most of you would have said that at least. You know what's common between both those pictures? It's that you chose the guy on the left as more dominant. Why? Why is that? It's driving home the same logic I'm trying to tell you all this while. Whoever's palm you can see is the most submissive person. Whoever's like opposite side of the palm you can see is the more dominant person. So in the first photo that I showed you, where Idi Amin looked more dominant, you can't see his palm, but you can see the other guy's palm. That's why when you take left side of the picture and shaking hands, whichever picture you see, the left guy looks more dominant. Now in the right. So, uh, in the next picture where Idi Amin's palms are seen, there he looks less dominant because he's not in the left side of the picture because you can see his palms that way, and the other person you can't see his palms, so that's the more dominant side. I think I've gave you enough examples to drive the point home. 
Now I'm going to show you evaluation and boredom gestures. So how to know if someone's really thinking, if someone's really bored. This is generally if you're selling someone something, whether it's an argument, whether it's a point, whether it's an actual physical product. So this is very useful in sales, but I don't know how useful it will it be in your normal day to day life. So this is how it is. The more someone rests their uh, hands or the, oh, sorry, their face on the heel of their palm, the more bored they are. So someone who's obviously bored with your shit is like this proper like this she's bored as fuck unless it's a girl who likes you then she's probably facing her putting her face on a platter that's very unlikely especially if you're talking to someone for like 10 minutes you might be actually watching this video right now doing this it shows a sign of boredom okay now people aren't so obvious if you're boring someone they're not just gonna be fucking like this and disrespect you uh, but most people, the more bored they get, the more they rest over here. So someone might just start like this. Yeah, five minutes in the conversation. Let's say me and you are talking and I start like this, like, hmm. Yeah, sure. That's, that's a nice argument. And then five minutes later, you're like really fucking boring me right now. So I might be like, hmm. Oh, okay. And now 10 minutes later, when you bought the fucking shit out of me, I'm fully like this, like, hmm, like acting like I'm thinking and shit, but I'm bored as fuck. So the more someone's face or someone's jaw, especially lays on the palm of their hand, like the more it starts coming towards here, the more you're boring them. Right. Now let's come on the second one. That's the, this thing. You might have seen that statue. I think it's where the guy's like sitting like this. I think it's called the thinker. If you type the thinker on the net, you'll understand. So that body language is kind of obvious. That means someone is thinking something. They are making a decision. So let's say you ask someone, you show them a product, right? You made some new, let's say Coke, right? You made a new Coke product. You made a new brand and you're selling to someone. You're like, oh, uh, welcome guys. This is my Coke. Why is this better than normal Coca-Cola? It is because it has zero sugar because Coca-Cola has 56 gram of sugar. And this is zero sugar. Would you like to buy it? And now that guy is like, hmm, that means he's making a decision. You learn body language. You learned what I, whatever I showed you. That means he's making a decision. Hmm. And now let's say after their decision, he's like, what do you think the answer is? He made the decision again and he's like, it's a no. It's because he closed himself after making a decision. So it's generally, it's generally assumed that the answer is no. So your, cha your job isn't to ask him a yes or no. You've already got the answer. Your cha your problem is to figure out why it's a no and work on it right now let's say uh, what if someone's having negative thoughts what if he's like this and he thinks oh man this coke is zero sugar but it has to have some side effects this this is the sign of having negative thoughts i've I, I'm going to show you an example of, I, I think he's called John F. Kennedy, but he started using this quite a lot in one of his, uh, uh, fucking, what was it? Interview or something like that. I'll just show you the picture later on when it comes to examples. But this was a scenario when he was having negative thoughts. And so that's it. Again, to drive all of this home, this is thinking. This is boredom. The closer they are to this or this or this or this. Or sometimes people aren't so obvious. So they'll be like this. It's again laying their head on something. Worst case scenario, it's the palm. If it's over here, then fuck it, bro. <laughs> you're, you're very boring. But if it's over here, that means they want to act like they're thinking, but they're bored because they're resting their head in a way. Um, yeah, 
that's really it so that's all you need to know about evaluation now this is a picture of a girl it's probably a chick you're on a date with what do you think she's telling pause the video think for yourself and i'll give you the answer so she's bored of you bro she's resting her hand clearly not even like this like this like full her entire fucking palm her jaw is like resting fully on her palm so she's acting like she doesn't she's not bored and she actually gives a shit but she's bored as fuck bro do something all right now let's come to the third picture what do you think he's doing here i want you to pause the video again think for your fucking self don't just wait for me to tell the answer there's no purpose of you watching the video if that's not the case good good you got that right probably most of you would have he's thinking he's just thinking that's it there's nothing there he hasn't made decision yet his body language later will tell so so i think you're just much smarter about figuring people out than you ever were aren't you now i'll also give you a small bonus that whenever someone is shaking themselves or shaking their legs shaking their hands carrying up you know like moving around with their purse or something they're somewhat anxious and they would rather be somewhere else they're anxious in the situation they are so you might have seen your friend who's in the writing the test and moving his leg quite a lot his feet quite a lot it's probably because he wants to escape the situation or you see this guy is like this like this it's because it it's a way of running away from the situation so his body is physically moving because it wants to run away from the situation he just has to move his legs yet because he doesn't have the balls to so that's another just side bonus and now we're going to come on the most important part that's the legs and the feet because your feet points where your body wants to go or oh, remember that for now and we'll get on legs all right now let's get on to legs bro this video is actually so fucking long like last night i decided oh you know fuck i'll make a youtube video and then i sat for like around 2 hours because everything i was showing you i had to like fucking summarize all of it show with the examples this that and then morning i got up like around 5 and i'm like oh i will continue making this video and it's like fucking 12 o'clock now that's why you see me with so many outfits bro because i'm like i i wore all this because i had to go out you know shop for groceries guy i had like nothing to fucking eat god it would really mean a lot to me if you actually just like to subscribe or just left honest criticism you think this video is shit then tell me this video is shit if you think this video is just very fucking good and you want more of this stuff tell me you want it like whatever your opinion is however good it is however shitty it is tell me if you can't comment on youtube for some fucking reason just message me privately on instagram whatever it is right like it would really help me out anyways now talking about legs the legs reveal what the body wants to do so let's say don't don't mind this this um, this by the way a hack if you don't have a belt or if you hate belts just use a shoelace and start it like this There you go. You don't need a belt. All right. Now let's get back to legs. All right. Let's say me and you are talking. All right, and you're trying to hit on me. Yeah, unlikely scenario, but let's say you're trying to hit on me. So first, you're trying to hit on me like this, and I'm just like this. All right. You call me. You're like, hey, a fun. And I turn. Now my legs are this way. Oh fuck. Wait, I have to bring the camera a little more down. You're gonna see how dirty my house is, bro. I don't want to show you that. This is trash that I have to throw in sometime. But let's say my legs are cross like this, and my hands are cross. That means I'm super not into what you're saying, but I, but I can be convinced because at least my body is pointing towards you now, right? Now let's say you're talking to me, and I kind of start liking you. So.
I also want to like show my dominance by putting my thumbs out. Okay. Now you've impressed me even more and I really, really start feeling for you. So now my body is pointing towards you. My hands, although they're somewhat closed off, they are much more open than they were before. You've got me, bro. You, you'll get my number at this point. So that's how it works. And also feet is very important. Wherever the person's feet point, it's what he wants to do. So if I'm saying some shit and like, if I'm, if my feet is pointing towards you, right? Like my feet right now, when I place it, is pointing towards you. That means I'm actually interested in what I'm, you're saying and I would love to be with you because your feet points where your body wants to go. That's why if a guy likes a girl, the way he shows it is with his feet. He'll stand like this and he'll place one foot forward. See, this is normally standing. This is one foot forward. And also when a guy places one foot forward, he will try to, you know, exaggerate himself a little more and show his crotch area. The more open he keeps his crotch area, the more confident he is. That's why cowboys stand like this. It's because they are pointing their thumbs to their crotch area and also they, they want to assert dominance by taking up space. Just so you know. Okay. So that's somewhat the basics of what you need to know. You know too much about me just from watching this video, whatever. Uh, let me adjust the camera again. Yeah. So, if you're not sure if you're being lied to, just look at their feet. It's because people will change their body language from their head or from their chest. Let's say you're talking to a girl. Right? You're not gonna just be your normal fucking self and just be, huh? No. You're gonna act like you're actually interested in what she's saying. Oh, let's give an example of a company, all right? Uh, this fucking your boss is just again, oh, when do you do the files? When do you do this shit? What the fuck are you supposed to do? You're not supposed to uh, do like this and like this, you know, trying to show him your disgust. You'll have to like just bitch yourself out and act like you give a shit and act like um, you're receiving a positive review. So instead of doing this, you're going to change your body. You're going to change your uh, fucking chest, right? You're going to put your chest out a bit. You're going to give a genuine smile, right? And the difference between a genuine smile and a shitty smile is eyes. A genuine smile pulls back the eyes. So if I smile genuinely, it's... Oh man, I can't smile genuinely now. Uh... Let me think of a joke. Yeah, that's somewhat of a genuine smile. And an ingenuine smile is when your lips are very closed, you can't see any teeth, and your eyes also don't pull back. It's... That's a girl's way of rejecting you, by the way. You compliment her and she does... It means... It's like a sign of fuck off, bro. Girls think it's very obvious for some weird reason. Like, when I had female friends and she would tell me about a guy approaching her. She would say, oh, this guy approached me and I just did. But he still kept hitting on me. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you smiled. So I guess you waved him the, you know, white flag to keep going ahead. She's like, no, I just clearly told him no. So that's the thing. Like, people will tell you no through their body language, not through their mouths. Mouths lie. Remember I told you in the starting of the video? Mouths lie, but body language does. Right. So from this, all you understood is that legs don't really lie most of the time. Okay. And feet always tell you the truth. The feet points where the body wants to go. If you're talking to a girl, Right? Let's say you're talking to me, right? I'm the chick you're trying to impress. And my feet, right? Like, these are my feet. I can't show you my fucking feet right now. I'm too lazy to do that shit. But let's say these are my feet, okay? And you're talking to me. You're talking to me. You're boring the shit out of me. And I'm sitting like this. So that means my both my feet are pointing over here. 
That means I want to get the fuck out of the door because the fish points where the body wants to go. You're boring the shit out of me. You're not impressing me. Your approach isn't working on me. So, yeah. And you might be there, you know, like this, sitting like this, just showing your crotch, uh, just, you know, like pointing your thumb towards your crotch with the wide attention stance. And then my, I'm just sitting like this with my feet pointing there. My body also isn't pointing towards you. My hands are fucking closed. And I'm not interested in you what-so-fucking-ever. You see, now you know about body language much more than 99.99999% of people do. And you didn't even do shit, you just kept fucking watching this video. This is how helpful it is. I swear if you don't subscribe, I'll come to your house and I'll fuck you over. Okay. <laughs> so, that's how feet tell the truth. Now, well, now we're gonna talk about crossing legs. Okay. <laughs> Oh fuck my t-shirt fell Whatever So if someone is crossing their legs right? So this is me agreeing Let's say me and you are talking again I have no fucking clue why you're hitting on me so many times But let's say you're hitting on me again right? And I don't want to show you That I'm not interested in you right? Let's say I'm like this Shy girl who's you know Doesn't want to tell you that I'm not interested And I've learned body language a bit so i'll you know i'll try to keep an open arm but my legs are like this that means i'm not leaving but i'm also not into it this means i'm about to fuck off this means i'm not leaving because my, my legs are crossed. I'm not leaving, but I'm not fully into it. You'll see it a lot in friend groups where a lot of people are sitting together. And then there'll be that one person who's new. So he's not fully into what's going on, but he's not leaving. So you'll see only his legs cross, not his hands. Bro, the fucking amount of effort I'm doing for this video. Uh, well... Now, now let, let me give you some real life examples again. Not real life, like we will act scenarios out so that you understand leg, leg this feet things much better. Okay, let's say me and you were talking. You're like, oh, fun, nice to meet you after so long. I have no idea why I'm making so many scenarios where you're hitting on me, but whatever the fuck, man. Let's say you're talking to me and I start off like this, right? And now you are nice uh, and you're sweet. So I open my hands, but I still close my legs. That means I'm open to whatever you're saying and I'm not leaving, but there's something that I'm holding back. And maybe once I start being a little more honest with you, or once you start making yourself be someone who, can, who people around can be honest with, then I open my legs because I'm not holding back nothing. And now, let's say one hour in the conversation, you're boring the fuck out of me. So my feet will point more towards here. Like one of my legs will point towards the exit. Like this, yeah, this is... One of my legs is pointing towards the exit, one of them is pointing towards you. That means I want to leave. So, I think you've understood about feet enough, right? Now, now let's get into the little more specifics of things. So in the specifics, there are only two things that are important. The f oh, Alhamdulillah. figure four leg, leg clamp. That's what it's called. Basically what it is, is man, I'm doing this. I'm going back so much. Like, all right, so I'm just sitting like this. Oh, you still can't see. And I'm holding my leg. So I'm sitting and I'm holding my leg towards myself. Okay, I want you to remember that. Sitting and I'm holding my leg. I cross my leg and I'm holding. I'll show you pictures later. I'll show you pictures, examples later. That generally means I'm tough-minded, I'm stubborn, and I would reject your opinion. So, if you're talking to someone in sales, you're telling, again, you're selling Coke, which I just finished, Oh, you, would you like to buy our coke because it has zero sugar, it has zero calories and he's like this. He's fucking holding his leg. 
He's like this. He's fucking. He's fucking holding his leg like this. He needs you to shut the fuck up. All right. He probably wants you to shut the fuck up again. I repeat that. And he's also very rejective of you because he's holding himself to make himself comfortable. He's holding his leg back. That means he's like holding himself back. It's a way of doing this. And now there's another one called the ankle lock. Oh man, I have to show you this again. Ah. Uh, Oh, I can't even show it like that. Whatever. So when someone is sitting and their legs are crossed, I'll just show you a picture. So right now, a picture should be here. So it's when someone's legs are crossed when they are sitting. Their ankles are like touching together. It can happen for men and for women. And why does it happen now that you ask me? It generally means they are holding something back. It's a uh, It's a similar version of just biting your lip. It means you want to say something, but you're holding yourself back. That's what an ankle lock does. Uh, generally, a negative emotion or an uncertainty or fear is that's where the ankle lock comes in. Not your feet, your ankles. Your ankle is like, I think it's like this part. So generally, when you lock your ankles, I would have showed you the photo by now in my editing. So you'll understand the point, and you can bring it home. Now is the juicy stuff. We're gonna come in examples. So I'm gonna show you a picture, and by this time, you should be able to detect exactly what the fuck is going on. If not, you haven't watched the video right, or I haven't taught you properly. You ha you have to be able to detect. What's going on exactly? I'm gonna show you a picture of a guy and a girl. You have to tell me is the girl gonna reject him or not? Does the guy even like the girl or not? Okay. All right. Do you see the picture? So now tell me. First question. Does the guy like the girl? You don't need to pause the video, by the way. The answer is yes. You're absolutely correct. Good for you, man. But if you're wrong, if you think the guy doesn't like the girl, let me tell you why. Let me tell you the signs of why the guy likes her. Firstly, one feet of his is pointing towards her. Like one whole fucking leg is pointing. Let alone feet. Your feet point. That's generally enough. But for the guy, his whole fucking leg, one of his leg is like pointing to her. Secondly, he's trying to show her his crotch. See, he tries to keep it very open, and he's also trying to point towards it with his thumbs. So that's the sigma male. This thing that oh, I'm also very interested in you with that leg that's pointed forward towards her. And now, what do you think her reaction is? Do you think she likes him? I want you to think of it. The answer is no. Like fuck no. She's either undecided or not keen. Look at both of her feet. None of them point to the guy. Even slightly. One of them is so her feet is like this, right? One of them is somewhat pointing to the guy. So in if you watch this photo, her left one, or at least like the left one we can see. It's technically her right one, but the left one we can see. Is somewhat going in the direction of the guy, somewhat, but the other foot is fucking away from him. It's exactly the opposite of where he is, because she's not interested, and her hands are also folded. That means she's not interested. Her body is also pointing away from him. That means she's not interested. So now you know now you actually know more than like 99% of people you actually know more than 99% of salesmen yeah a lot of people in sales actually don't know this amount of body language the how much you know right now you will actually become a great salesman if you fin if you actually finish this video i don't think anyone is watching this part right now i have like 11 subscribers if i fucking put this video i'll get like 10 views
and most of the people will drop off at like 10 the first 10 seconds so congrats if you're actually watching all the way to here you figured out more body language than most people ever will and i haven't even gone to the examples yet and also i'm going to teach you how to know if someone's lying to you you thought i'd forget about that no i won't so now let's get to the examples I know this is like the third time I changed my fucking outfit, but I have a social life, all right? Now let's get to the examples. So this is the first example where there are two people wearing a business attire, right? I want you to tell me what is going on, what their position is, how open they are to each other, and what do you think they might be discussing about? Like, do they stand in a similar position for it? So. Pause this video right now and fucking answer me, okay? Now, assuming that you've actually paused this video like I fucking told you to, let's see where their legs are going. So, both of their legs, both of their, uh, like their two feet, two feet, right? Like this guy's feet is over here and this guy's is over here, right? Like one guy and he has two feet. So this, this feet, right? The feet, this feet, the, the feet inside, that's pointing towards each other, right? You can notice that. But the feet outside, it's not pointing towards each other directly, but it's making a triangle with their feet. So it's somewhat pointing to each other. And also men who keep their hands in their pocket, I think I forgot to tell you this, it's somewhat similar to men who hug themselves like this you know whenever you feel intimidated you um, yeah whenever you feel intimidated and if you're a man you keep your hands somewhat like this right so keeping your hands in your pocket like fully is somewhat a way of doing that where you're keeping your hands to yourself you're holding yourself or you're using like these fucking pockets to hold you it shows a sign of lack of confidence you know why because it actually is lack of confidence. It is you holding yourself so that you feel more comfortable. So you can see in this picture that both of these men are holding themselves, right? So that means they're not fully comfortable with each other, but they are opening up more and more because their bodies are somewhat open. If, see, this is the first level. Let's say me and you, we don't know each other. And again, for some fucking reason, you're hitting on me. Okay, stop, stop. It's creepy. Stop hitting on me so much. Whatever. So I start off with this, right? Now, I'm, I don't know you fully. So I'm going to hug myself by keeping my hands in my pocket. Okay. Assuming I'm not someone who wants to show dominance. If I want to show dominance, I do this. But let's say I don't want to show dominance, right? So that means now I'm open to your ideas but I'm still hugging myself. That means I'm not fully open towards you. You've not like unlocked me. Stop running ahead on me, by the way, all the time. <laughs> okay, so now let's get to another picture where a guy and a girl are talking. Yeah, I get all this shit from the internet. I just type guy and girl talking to each other and I Google searched, whatever. Now let's, uh, let's look at this scenario. Let's see. So I want you to pause this video again and think of all the questions I asked for the same. Okay. So as you can see, the guy likes the girl, right? Pretty obvious. Why? Hands in the pocket, showing towards his crotch. He's like displaying his crotch around. So that means he likes the girl. Okay. And his feet, you can notice his feet. His feet are somewhat cross. So that means he's trying to show openness, but there is something that he didn't tell her yet, or he has some emotion or feeling that he didn't tell her yet. So, and now you're asking me, what about the girl? Dude, it's pretty obvious. It's somewhat like the guy. She's presenting herself. Um, but also her feet are also crossed. I mean, her legs are also crossed because she's holding something back. 
but you can see her arms are pretty open towards him she looks like she's smiling her full body is pointed towards him her feet are pointed towards him they both are somewhat having the same emotion for each other it's just i guess it's time for the man to confess okay <laughs> now let's look at another scenario where a guy and a girl are talking to each other so the girl and the guy probably know each other very well because look at their feet both of their feet are pointed well towards each other not sure if the guy like physically likes the girl because oh wait he actually might because a very one sure sign of that is when a guy places one foot forward that's a very very obvious sign of a guy liking a girl and he only reaches his obvious sign when he's not when she's not someone he's just flirting with but he's like actually interested in her in her like seriously interested in her that's when he keeps one foot forward so look in this picture he's not keeping one foot forward in fact he's keeping one foot back i don't know what you take of it but you could see both of them are pretty open with their body both of them are pointing their feet towards each other that means it's an open nice conversation when both of them are very comfortable with each other and yeah that's all it for feet wait you know what i'll show you another one so now this is a very amazing so this is a very amazing one i want you to tell me what do you think is actually happening right now does the guy like the girl does the girl like the guy are they actually into each other what's going to happen i want you to predict everything just looking at this fucking photo if you are the genius you say you are you should be able to figure it out and if you actually watch this video with full concentration you should be able to figure it out it should be fucking cake work for you right pause the video shut the fuck up and go ahead what you get the answer bro does the girl like the guy if the answer is yes fuck you i don't teach you well probably but if the answer is no you understood what i'm saying very clearly because her body language her body is pointing towards him neither are her feet but guess where her feet are pointing That's right. Guess the exit door. She wants to leave. She's putting on a fake smile. Her hands are closed. You know, her one hand is closed. Her feet are pointing towards the exit. Her body is not pointing towards him. She's clearly not interested. But poor guy doesn't know yet. because he's not he didn't watch you know my video of body language you know he's not smart like you he's just dumb like fucking everyone else who's not watching this video right now so but the guy is clearly interested as you can see he's adjusting his tie that means he's preening in front of her preening is also a way that a person likes you if you're walking past a girl and she like somewhat like uh, adjust her stance a bit or something like that Once you start dressing better and start getting more muscle and looking a bit better that actually happens quite often like you just go introduce yourself to a girl or talk to a girl randomly and she'll adjust herself a bit like you're like hey excuse me she's like oh yeah you were saying that actually happens quite a lot and even guys do that they keep their tie a little in kare you know they like start adjusting their tie a bit in front of the girl start straightening their body language a bit it's called preening but look at him he's adjusting his tie he's holding something round okay that's another way to tell if a girl likes you or not she's like playing around with a round object and even guys do that whatever i'll get to that later if you want i can make like a whole separate video on how to know if a girl likes you and how to know if a guy likes you you never know bro a guy might have a crush on you okay so his feet is completely pointing towards her his body is completely open towards her he's holding a round object he's clearing a tie he probably not only just likes her he wants to fuck her right you could understand from his eyes but like ignore his eyes for a second bro so now you understood the body language of legs congratulations you're so smart right now like I'm not kidding. You're just such a fucking genius. I wish I was you when I was asking that girl out in the gym, bro. I wish I was you. I wish someone made this fucking video. Nice. Now let's get to the juicy part of stuff. 
how to know if someone is lying to you. This is a bonus. If you don't want to watch this part of the video, you can get the fuck out. But I think it's very important. So. Okay, so now you might think that you're a big fucking expert on lying, right? Like I know some friends of mine, um, they tell me, oh bro, whenever, when, when I lie, you won't be able to figure it out, bro. And I tell them to tell me two truths and one lie. And bro, trust me, since like past one month, I've asked so many people to tell me two truths and one lie. And there was never a time I couldn't figure out what the lie was. 50% of them were dumb enough to tell me something very absurd for the lie part. But the rest 50% were just told me three facts. Any of them could have been a lie. And I figured out which one it is because of what I'm going to tell you right now, right? It's actually pretty easy to figure out when someone is lying. All you need to know is know them. If you have a two minute conversation with them, you'll know them. So why is it so hard to lie? Let's answer that question. If I'm able to figure it out after... I researched about it for probably um, like two days or something and I could figure this much out. That means it's very hard to lie. If a guy who researches just for two days can figure out the lie of most of the people, then lying couldn't be that hard, isn't it? And these are all people who tried to put a proper lie. Two truths and one lie. They are people who tried. Most people don't even do that. I put them on the spot. They tried to lie and they couldn't. So the reason most people can't lie is because your body reacts differently to lying. Unless you believe in your head that you're saying truth, which is the case for narcissism. Narcissistic people assume they are in that particular scenario so well that they are actually able to fool themselves and their own body. That's why narcissism and egoism is pretty shit, by the way. Just a side rant, but... Unless you're a narcissistic who just really imagines himself to be the shit or in that position, you're not able to lie because your body knows, you deep down in your head knows that it's a lie. So you will give some signs like you'll blink more than normal, you will, um, your pupils might dilate more than normal, you might start sweating a bit. And these are like subtleties where you can figure out someone's lying. Even a narcissistic person, by the way, will have these subtleties in them. So you can figure it out. But that's very specific scenarios. Now I'll tell you most scenarios where someone is lying. Very common types where someone's not trying. They're just telling you and then they just come up with a lie instantly. So the first sign is mouth covering. There are eight, by the way, eight common ones. So the first one is mouth covering. Mouth covering happens because, um, let's say I'm telling you, uh, let, let me bring up a lie, man. Oh yeah, I just didn't apply Nivea. Uh, I just didn't apply Nivea deodorant right now. That's an example. That's a lie because I just fucking did like five minutes ago. So that's a way of telling a lie. You know, he's just. Someone is saying something and they just like cover their mouth and keep talking because it's kind of a body's way of preventing what's going to happen. So if someone is very, they don't lie that often, like maybe they lie every half an hour once. Yeah, that's actually not that often, by the way, lying half an hour every one, lying once every half an hour is very, very rare. Congratulations. You're actually in the top percent of truth tellers if that's a word so mouth covering is the first one right it's like a body's way of preventing what's going to be said it's your body's way of protecting you second one is called nose touch now why do people touch their nose when they lie it's because of this chemical that's released it's called catecholamines I fucking don't know the word properly. There's my lap, there's my tablet over here and I just read it off of that because I can't remember the word. And it's released um, causing tissue inside the nose to swell. Tissue inside your nose. It starts swelling a bit when you lie because of that compound that's released. Because of that uh, fucking chemical that's released. So when your nose starts swelling a little more, you feel itchy. So this is another example. 
um i i i don't i don't own a laptop dude i just i don't own a laptop dude i just um uh, study in a cafeteria without a laptop now that's two lies that i just said i'm just showing you an example obviously it won't be this fucking easy so one of them is covering your nose i mean like itching your nose and one of them is covering your mouth to a certain degree right now one of them is also an eye rub in general if you want to think just any like touching face thing when they're telling a fact is most probably a lie not this one okay my my nose is genuinely itchy okay uh so now comes the eyes rub that's something like this when someone asks you hey uh where you where you heading did you hit on a fan like five six times you're like no man no i really didn't i i, I didn't at all so that's a fucking lie because you rubbed your eyes and also i saw you hitting on me like so many times to fucking stop like seriously so um it's a way of your brain to protect the other person from you so you don't want to watch yourself doing that to the other person you see that's kind of rare because very less people have that much empathy so unless you're lying to your mother about something you shouldn't lie about like oh mom yeah i just feel my test being honest like something like that you know something big something that your mom should really know and she would fuck you over for it and you're lying about that that's your body's way of preventing to see what's actually happening what you're doing you see these all things come only the guys like shameful enough to lie about it if he's like very fucking shameless he's probably not going to do all this and it's going to be somewhere in the subtleties okay now comes the ear grab the ear grab generally comes when the person does not want to hear what he's saying with his own mouth when he somewhat regrets what he's saying with his own mouth so again let me bring up some shit fucking fact that's a total lie oh i just i didn't drink like three cups of coffee today it's my th- it's, i think it's my fourth cup of coffee yeah it's 4:56 right now and this is my fourth cup of coffee i really need help dude why the fuck do you think i'm speaking so quickly cuz i'm very caffeinated right now all right then after that comes the next scratch the next scratch also comes when someone's lying or someone's making up the lie as they speak so it's a way of like you know not being sure of what to say or something like that so it could be that they are lying to you or it could be that they are making something up but that's what the next scratch means now we come to the collar pull uh, it's nothing much if they just somewhat pull their collar they are lying or there's a chance they're lying especially if they say a fact and they're like pulling their collar something like this it's similar to a neck scratch now comes finger in their mouth <laughs> so that's very important because it associates with a lot of things so finger in your mouth or pen in your mouth or a lot of things people put in their mouth <laughs> um biting their nail they get 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 some putting something in their mouth or some people put thumbs in their mouth reason a person does that is because they're in need of reassurance so if you're telling me something uh let's say you're telling me you hit on me we actually started dating and then you cheated on me what the fuck so i'm doing this oh yeah hmm hmm that means they're feeling somewhat uncomfortable so people who have a lot of anxiety generally do that so they are you know using themselves as a shield and reassuring themselves so doing this they might also be like shaking their feet quite a lot because that's a way of running from the situation right whenever you're in a bad situation you put yourself in a situation like that your body wants to run away and that's why you will shake your feet if you can't run away let's say you have a very important test right now and you're sitting you're nervous you have anxiety you're not just going to leave the fucking test and like unless you're some g just you're going to write the test aren't you so you're going to show signs of nervousness and anxiety by shaking your feet first so that 
you get the feeling of running away and also you'll try reassuring yourself that everything will be okay by biting a pen by biting your nails by just putting a finger in your mouth and so many examples like that so now you've figured out how people lie okay all these eight signs you could summarize it up with just someone touching their face if they're telling you a fact and they're touching their face likely they are lying or another time is when they're facing changing their face patterns face patterns in the sense they're blinking a lot more or they're moving a lot more or they are twitching their muscles a lot more or their pupils are dilating a lot more you'll actually see this in court interviews if you really want to go and research about it a lot you will see that people when they are lying they won't show subtleties like scratching their nose and things like that it's only people who don't lie that often like an average liar will do all these eight things that he's probably do the nose thing or he'll probably cover his mouth or he'd probably scratch his neck and tell you something or all these eight things or if he's a good liar if he's lied quite often he'd probably blink his eyes a little more he might dilate his pupils a little more right so now i'm going to tell you two truths and one lie now every time i fucking wipe my nose don't think i'm lying to you so now i'm going to um give two examples and i'm going to tell you two truths and one lie first time and again i'm going to tell you two truths and one lie so i tell you two truths and one lie one time you figure it out and then the second time also you figure it out if you pass the test good job you're actually better than 99% of the people in figuring out if someone's lying to you or not right all right first one you're ready i'm going to tell you three facts you have to figure out what the lie is and i'm going to try being as truthful as possible or hiding it from you as much as possible so the first fact is i didn't take a shower today all right the second one is i have 20 euros in my purse right now and the third fact is that i have a candle on my desk like as we speak on this desk i have a candle which is not lit by the way all right so this is another set of truth plus one lie i'm going to tell you right now okay so the first one is i got a driving license when i was 18 years old second one is i got a car to myself and to my sister as well when i was 18 years old the third one is that i masturbated yesterday now you need to figure out from both of these like first set second set repeat it as much as you fucking can but if you understood all the concepts of this video properly all the concepts of lying properly you should be very quickly able to figure out where was i telling you a lie approximately you should be somewhat close to correction so my friend have you figured out what the lies are all right so in the first paragraph that i told you the lie was i have 20 euros in my purse right now in fact if you look at my purse let's see let's open my purse let's see how much do i have i just have a 5 that's it that's that's all i have in my purse i just have a 5 euro note that was the lie and in the second one i masturbated yesterday i didn't so those both are the lies watch the video again 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 until you figure out the pattern like okay this is how fun normally speaks let's see if he blinked his eyes more or if he did something more if you're not able to figure out you haven't watched the lying part properly pro- properly so go back to the lying part again watch that part understand what i'm saying over there then go back to the two statements that i said and try to find the differences after that i want you to go to youtube and type who is lying there's this video by universe some university where so many people are lying to you and so many people are telling you the truth and one of them is lying and you'll be easily able to figure out that that person is lying because you learned what i'm teaching you right now wait sorry i forgot to look at the camera but yeah So that's it man that's it for the video this actually took me so fucking long to make i would really appreciate it if you 
fucking like comment or subscribe whatever you want to but at most like the thing i would appreciate the most you don't want to subscribe just don't all right the most thing i would appreciate is just be honest with how you think this video is what you think i could provide to you where you want me to go because i'm very clueless and i'm very helpless on what to do but i'm willing to do what it takes uh especially if i'm given the right direction by the people who i want to make it for so thank you so fucking much for watching this video and i actually had plans with my friends and i canceled it because it's taking so long for making this video because i really value this man i really fucking just love talking and explaining things because it suits with who i am i like learning things quite a lot i don't like learning it to the full degree but i like the initial learning curve where you know a lot of things about a particular thing so i like that quite a lot and i also like explaining quite a lot for some weird reason i always keep explaining concepts to people all the fucking time like if you were my girlfriend right now you'd be so annoyed because my ex would used to be so annoyed of all the concepts i used to just fucking teach all the time So yeah that's really it for this video man Just thank thank you so much for watching if you've actually someone who watched all the way to the end thank you so much you know i wouldn't fucking watch my videos for so long because i get very boring and very predictable at one point so if you've actually watched the video to the end just thank you so much you know like even if you don't like comment subscribe nothing like the fact that you fucking stuck around till there just really means a lot to me so Again, I don't know why the fuck am I thinking so much, but have a nice day, dude.